Hello everyone. Welcome to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, we will discuss about the system. What is system and what is the use of the system? System is used to process the input signal and it generates some desired output signal. Let's take an example of the noisy signal. In the input, we have a noisy input signal. We want to remove the noise or we want to cancel the noise. So noise cancellation is one our system which gives us the clean signal after removing some noise. A continuous time system is basically used to process the continuous time input signal and it gives us continuous time output signal. In a similar way, discrete time system is used to process the discrete time input signal and it gives us discrete time output signal. Where T is the representation of the continuous time signal and N is the representation for the discrete time signal. That this T, capital T, is our system operator. System operator. If we pass the input signal from this system, we will get the output signal. So this T is the system operator and we are passing the input signal to this system and from the other side or the receiving side, we are getting the output. That is our desired output, which is the YT or response. In a similar way for the discrete time signal, we are giving so XN, which is the discrete time signal and passing from the system T and we are receiving YN as the output. Now, here some kind of the system, one is the differentiator. If we pass the input signal to the differentiator, we will get the differentiated signal or differential of XT. So differential is differentiator is our one system where we are giving some input X and we are getting Y, which is equal to D over DT XT. In the same way, integrator is another system where we pass the input signal through the integrator, we will get the integration of XT DT. Now we will talk about the interconnection of system. Now we will talk about the interconnection of system. Uh, one is the cascade and series interconnection. System 1 and system 2 are connected in the uh, series connection, both are in the cascading. So we are giving input signal through the system 1 and output of the system 1 we are giving to the another system which is the system 2 and we will get the final output. This is the series connection. Let's take system function is the T1T and system 2 function is the T2T. So what will be the TET? Lot of people do, lot of people make mistake here. They directly multiply both of them but in the time domain it will be convolved with T1 and T2. So T of capital TT is equal to T1T convolution of T2T. It is not multiplication sign. This is a convolution operator. So in time domain we convolve the system when they are in series but in frequency domain just like the Laplace transform in S domain we multiply the gain function in the S domain like G1S and G2S we multiply them if they are in the series but in time domain they are if they are in the time domain we convolve them. So here star is nothing but the convolution operator. Now parallel interconnection. In parallel interconnection system 1 is connected with the parallel in the system 2. Now in the parallel connection now in the parallel interconnection system 1 is connected with the system 2 in the parallel combination and they are both are adding at the output. So output of the system 1 let's see y1 and output of the system 2 is y2. They are adding. So we will get y is equal to y1 plus y2. They are in parallel. So we will add them y equal to y1 plus y2. Now we have a system function t1 t and t2 t those both are in the parallel then what will be the t T, what will be the capital T with function of a small t? So it will be T1 T plus T2 T. This is the parallel interconnection. Now if we talk about the series parallel interconnection. In series parallel interconnection, here we can see that this is the combination of series as well as parallel interconnection. System 1 and system 2 both are connected in the series. And combination of system 1 and system 2 is connected with the system 3 in parallel mode. Now system 4 is connected in the series. So it is combination of series and parallel interconnection. So system 1 and system 2 will be convolved and system 3 will add them and system 4 will again convolve with the overall response of the system 1, system 2 and system 3. So this is the series parallel interconnection. Now we will talk about the feedback interconnection. 
in the feedback interconnection output of the system one is fed back to the input through the system two here one system one is given directly we are getting some output but to cross check uh, whatever we want to uh, achieve we are getting or not so we use feedback to check this is the we are getting is correct or not so we use this feedback and output of the system one we are giving to the input to the system two and it is going towards the input side so here in this case you can see that h1t is our one system function and h2t is another system function and here yt is our output and xt is our input and here you can see that this is a negative feedback because negative sign is going there usually we use the negative sign to remove the error to compare the error what is to compare the error or to check the error so we usually use the negative feedback so here what will we get in yt this is our y and this is h2 so at this point we will achieve y convolution of h2 y convolution of h2 and xt is subtracting y minus h2 here we are getting x minus y convolve h2 and this is again passing through the this complete whole signal is passing through the h1 so we'll convolve it again by h1 and we'll get the same thing at output y so here you can see that y is nothing but h1 convolution of h1 convolution of x minus h2 convolution of y so these are some interconnections of the system one is the series interconnection second one is the parallel interconnection third one is the combination of series and parallel interconnection fourth one is the feedback interconnection thank you for watching this video 